students, it breaks. None of us here. Uh, we are just coming off the uh, tail end of our workshop um, here at HQ, and what a workshop it was. Thanks to all the participants. Uh, special shout out to Bendu Lightsaber Combat um, uh, for making the trip all the way from Peoria, Illinois. <laughs> That's dedication. Hopefully we'll see you again sometime soon. Um, there will be another one coming up in December around the movie time, so uh, stay tuned for that. Um, one of the topics that kind of came up as we were all talking back and forth uh, throughout the workshop and coming into contact with so many people, especially throughout the time, is uh, kind of different categories of martial arts that are kind of popping up. And uh, the way I've been looking at it, um, I'm kind of seeing some cert uh, certain divisions which are kind of interesting. And uh, so I thought I'd share them and <clears throat> kind of start a discussion on that one. So, um, martial art is kind of a very broad term, and it encompasses a whole lot of practices. And um, so, it's kind of interesting that they're all they all kind of tend to be, you know, kind of gravitate towards one thing or the other. Um, I kind of would uh, say that of the martial of you know of all martial arts, we kind of got some broad categories. We've got uh, traditional martial arts, which trace their lineage way, way back, teacher to student, teacher to student, teacher to student. Um, we have uh, historical martial arts, which uh, is uh, martial arts, much of it folk or traditional, um, that is being informed by modern scholarship and stuff like that. So historical European martial arts is probably the best example of that right now. But uh, Ma style, uh, Tongbei Chen, and Tongbei studies in Kung Fu are also in that in that vein, um, then you have uh, combat sports, MMA, te uh, Taekwondo, Wushu. Um, these are usually arts that are somehow abstracted to uh, fit a rule set for competition, you know, friendly competition between uh, opponents. Um, and these are ob obviously extremely popular right now, um, MMA, you know, specifically, but. Uh, the list is, is huge. I mean, everything from fencing to judo, like I said, taekwondo, uh, <clears throat> anything where people are competing with a uh, kind of rule set based martial art. And that kind of helps compartmentalize training and brings a lot of cool stuff through there. Um, you also have uh, uh, performance based martial arts, so uh, like choreography and stunts and, and that kind of thing. Uh, these are also part of the martial arts, so any of the fight choreographers, fight directors, um, that kind of thing, um, a lot of those martial arts take liberally from all different sources and they can, in my opinion, can quite honestly be called a separate kind of category of martial art. Um, you also have uh, things that I would say kind of border on more on the traditional type of thing, but sometimes people would lump in the health practices and, and that kind of thing. Um, but uh, like Tai Chi and, and, and that, but I would s still put them more into the traditional thing. Um, and that's one, of, that's one of the characteristics of a traditional martial art, is that it has a, a lineage that goes by, and that, by virtue of the way that it's passed down, may be extremely altered later on during the uh, during its transmission um, <clears throat> if somehow that line gets broken and you would only have kind of scant records or, or what have you uh, then the historical martial arts can kind of take over because researching through uh, you know, texts that kind of thing and then combining them with what we know through what happens in modern martial art and all that kind of thing um, the combat sports, sure, they're sports. They're limited in, you know, they have rule sets, they have all of this kind of stuff. The arguments go flying backwards and forwards and everything like that. But these, uh, these arts are regimented. They are serious. They have incredibly effective training methods. Um, they have extremely set goals. Now, uh, any type of competition or any type of competitive sport, you have a limited career as a competitor, and fighting is <laughs> definitely no different. 
So that's kind of one limitation there. Um, but, and then the performance arts, all that kind of thing, they take from everything. Whatever looks the best, whatever fits the story. So, all right, well, just thought I'd put that out there as a uh, little aside, and uh, hopefully we'll generate some discussion, uh, hopefully pretty soon. If you'd like to join the discussion, you can comment down below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Come join us on Facebook. Uh, we have the Learners in Exile Forum. Uh, look us up, and uh, if you'd like to follow us a little bit closer, come and join us. So, until next time, I will bid you adieu, and wish you happy savoring. Thank <laughs> you.